Hi class, we're going to be working on Ventures 2 today. We're going to be doing the welcome chapter. It comes before chapter 1. It's meant to be a review. Let's check it out. Okay, we're looking at what is in the welcome area. We have pages 2 through 5. What are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be describing skills and giving personal information. We're going to practice our listening and speaking. We're going to talk about what classmates can do, asking and answering questions about personal information. For vocabulary, we're going to review the regular and irregular verbs. And for grammar focus, we're going to work on B. Is MR is present. We're going to work on past, was, were. And we're going to look at the present and pasts of regular and irregular verbs. Okay, I'm talking about the break, broke, eat, ate. All right, let's get ready. Okay, we're looking here on page two in the welcome area. I want to direct you to the area on page three that says skills. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to listen to page three. Welcome. Page three, exercise 2A, track two. Hi, I'm looking for a job. What can you do? I can use a computer very well. I can speak English and Spanish. I can help students with their homework. And I can read to children. Can you write in English? Yes, I can. Can you speak Russian? No, I can't. But I'm going to learn. Great. So now, please finish the items on welcome page three. Okay, we're here on page four. Let's listen and then check the boxes here. Page four, exercise 3A, track three. One, I am a student at Preston Adult Learning Center. Two, my English classes are very interesting. Three, my classmates are from many different countries. Four, my teacher is from Canada. Five, Maria and Grisella are from Peru. Six, they were in my class last semester, too. 7. The teacher was Ms. Gonzalez. 8. Now remember, this is book 2. If that was hard for you, you want to come and see me and tell me you need book 1. This should be review only. Now, you probably understand the present and the past, but here is a graph. If you want, you can write this down in your book so that you don't forget. First, I want to go over this section. I want you to do this. Then, I want you to listen to the story and the answers. So first, go ahead and write am, is, are, was, or were, or weren't in the story. Pause it, and then listen when you're done to check your work. Okay, go ahead and pause it now. Okay, here we go with the audio to correct your answers. Page 4, exercise 3B. Track 4. My name is Maria. I am from Mexico. My husband's name is Sergio. He's from Mexico, too. There are three children in our family, one son and two daughters. Our son, Javier, is seven years old. 
He was born in Mexico. Our daughters, Melissa and Maritza, are twins. They are one year old. They were born in the United States. Sergio and I weren't born in the United States. We were born in Mexico. At the bottom of this page, you can see that there are some questions. And it says, talk with a partner. If you can't ask questions to a partner because no one is in the class or you're at home right now, go ahead and write the answer on another piece of paper. Just get out a piece of paper and write down the answers. It's good practice. Okay, now we're going to listen and see if we heard the past, the present, what is it? And these are the irregular verbs. Page 5, exercise 4a, track 5. 1. Bao takes out the garbage every week. 2. I work at a restaurant every day. 3. Eva visited her parents in the afternoon. 4. We celebrated my parents' 50th anniversary last night. 5. Sarah went to the baseball game yesterday. 6. Mike took the bus last week. 7. She didn't buy candy yesterday. 8. He wants to go to the mall on Saturday. 9. Akiko sleeps late on Sundays. 10. They don't usually walk to school. When did you come to this country? I came here two years ago. You speak very well. Did you study English here last year? Yes, I did. Did you speak English in your native country? No, I didn't. What do you usually do on the weekend? I usually stay home, but sometimes I go shopping. All right, that's about it for the welcome chapter. The last thing we have is talking to classmates. Again, find someone next to you to ask these questions to, to practice your conversation. If you can't find anyone, go ahead and write down your answer. There's a lot of practice that you need to learn English, okay? All right, good job finishing the first chapter. Come see me for your test to make sure you're ready to go into chapter one, please.